and this is Front Toes of Cichlids and More. In this video we're looking at how to successfully have a male peacock cichlid aquarium. I'm going to give you a lot of insights. Some of you already have some set up. You might see some ideas that you wouldn't have thought of or you might be more comfortable with what you're doing right now. So stay tuned for this interesting video. It's on male peacock cichlid aquariums. How to have one successfully. So check this video out. You'll like at least the fish. So when you're looking at setting up an all-male aquarium and being successful with it, you have to think about the size of your aquarium. Now you may already have the right size. Maybe you don't even have an aquarium yet. This is just from my personal experience. This whole video is from my personal experience of having these peacocks. The best way to have an all-male uh, or, or mostly male peacock cichlid aquarium is to have a 50 gallon or larger. Now it doesn't have to be four feet long, but a longer tank does the best. But you can have it in a different dimensions if it's at least 50 gallons or larger. Now you can be successful in a smaller aquarium, but it will be much more difficult. Uh, most of the time you can have uh, a 55 gallon at a good price from PetSmart. So for most people, not PetSmart, but Petco. So for most people, that would be one an option that would be readily available to most people. Now on this aquarium, it's a 75 gallon aquarium. They don't normally go on and sell as cheap as the 55 gallon aquariums, but just for the uh, for the most part, 50 gallons or larger would be really the best for your setup. Now many people think that you can possibly get by with a few as 10 to 15 male peacocks in an aquarium and they be alright. Now I personally have tried this and it did well for five or six months and then one got larger than the others and he eventually wore out and killed the rest of them. So in my opinion so I've used in this uh, in my home and at a actual breeding facility that bred uh, peacock cichlids. Having 25 or more peacocks and a 50 gallon or larger is the best bet to be successful. Now, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to have 25 or more? Well, it keeps the aggression off any one fish. No one fish gets picked on. Uh, as you see here, that they've colored up very well in this aquarium. Some of them actually are small. You see there's smaller ones with the bigger ones and still no issues. Where in the past I thought you had to have the peacocks all the same size. In this instance, they do not have to be the same size. Now, of course, in any type of cichlid aquarium, fish are going to get chased. And what I do for that is I have hiding spots. I have caves in here that are uh, bought that are caves, and then I actually make caves with other rocks. You see over here to the right. Whatever your method is, make sure if you're using man-made ornaments that the fish will not get stuck in the aquarium you know in the ornament if they go in there to get chased in the past when i was younger i had ornaments where i had fish get stuck in the ornament and i had to actually break the ornament up just to get the fish out so be wary of that make sure your ornaments are rocks that you use where the fish can actually get out of the ornament or cave if you look down there on the bottom, you see the peacock cichlid sifting. That's very important for a healthy aquarium. To do this, you need to have a sand. I prefer the coral sand. I just recently have started using that. It was available at a good price. Uh, it keeps your pH buffering to a good level, especially with the amount of fish you're going to have in the aquarium. It also allows them to sift, which actually helps in the filtration method of your aquarium. It keeps the, the detritus stirred up. You see here where they thought there was some food, and they've just recently stirred up some of the stuff. 
that will now go into the filtration system where if they did not couldn't stir it up if it was gravel it would stay down and get dead and stagnant you definitely want to have a good flow for at least when you have that many fish in your aquariums uh, peacocks like good flow in the aquariums and this particular aquarium I have it at a 420 gallons uh, there's actually no back flow uh, it just comes right out of the, the sucks into the pump and then goes out even though it's behind the filtration mat I use mat and filtration that is not necessary but it has done very well for me and successful in my aquarium with my peacocks I don't actually have to clean the filtration uh, I haven't cleaned it in over a year uh, you can use other methods for your filtration it does not have to be a mat filtration but it is an economical way and does very well for the peacock setup now with this many peacocks in the aquarium you need to make sure that you're getting enough food so they, if you have smaller peacocks uh, they're actually getting food so make sure when you're feeding your fish everyone's getting enough food uh, this will keep fish from getting picked on and war down as long as they're getting food they'll stay healthy and they will shouldn't be any issues when you're picking your food to, to feed your fish Pick one that meets your expectations. You may already use that food, but pick one that meets your expectations and your budget. With this many fish, they're going to go through a lot of food uh, in a short amount of time. So pick one that does well with water quality and that the fish really like. Uh, I just want to say that I've used many different foods over the over the years, and right now, presently. I'm using a Ken sinking pellet with brine shrimp and a sinking color pellet. And both those do really well and they're economical and easy to do, uh, easy to order from. Uh, they've been in business for years. Uh, I highly recommend them. Uh, you can use other ones. There's some that are a lot better. Uh, they're just more expensive. But they do well for me because I have tons of fish. I have multiple aquariums. So when you're dealing with 25 or more fish, and if you're on a bucket, you might want to think about using Ken's fish food. The most important, the number one way to have a successful male peacock cichlid aquarium is to have fun. We all will have setbacks. We'll have things we'll learn from. We'll be trying different things. That's part of the hobby. Let that be fun. Don't let that be something that eats away at you. It, let it be fun. Think about it and enjoy the process, the learning process, the changes that you can do to your aquariums, the changes of your fish. Uh, let that be an enjoyment. And as long as you're enjoying and having excitement with your aquarium, you will in the long term be successful. You yourself will decide how to be successful and you yourself will be successful if that is your goal. I'm going to give you some relaxed footage of the fish that I have in this aquarium. Now some of you may have even more special fish. Uh, these have not reached full coloration in all of these fish and they're not full size. Uh, to reach full size it can take a, a, quite a while. When I say quite a while I've had uh, a full size peacock at about uh, three years. And this particular fish you see in front in the very center of the aquarium got a white nose and also has a blaze on the head I'm really uh, happy with that fish the coloration itself is not that great but I do like that marking some of these fish are very special to me here you see Mr. Freeze again Mr. Freeze has his own feature video even though he's not the biggest male he's been very successful to be uh, hold a good territory in the aquarium 
Usually it goes to the biggest fish, but in this case it just does not. Now to have a successful male a peacock cichlid aquarium, sometimes you have to have your fish for several years to reach full color maturation. Uh, even though they could be exceptional coloration like some of these are now, within another year the coloration of these fish will even be better. You have to have some patience and enjoy the hobby and enjoy watching your fish because they improve over time as well as we do with the hobby. Thanks again for watching Frontosa Cichlids and more. Until next time.